Hello Pisces and welcome to this reading by the Blessing Foundry. I've heard from a number of you regarding pain that you might be having in your life or trauma and also within the Pisces Collective there seems to be a need for energetic healing and releasing and purging of energy that no longer serves your highest good. So this reading, let me scoot you, this reading is going to focus on energy healing. Um, I'm not certified in energy healing or anything like that, but what I'm going to do is read different cards regarding how an energy or trauma is impacting your life currently, um, what emotions you're carrying with it, how it's affecting you and your relationships, how you can work to come out of this energy and release it um, and move past it, and then how your life will change as a result of releasing this um, energy or trauma and what you can do for self-love. So we will, I need to adjust this really quickly here. Thank you for your patience with me. All right, and we will dive right in Pisces. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D, light and above, please come here. We call upon you now to collect with, connect with the Pisces Collective, the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel. And in particular, Spirit, we ask that you connect with those Pisces who are watching and within the Pisces Collective that have a need for energetic healing, energetic guidance, that have been suffering through a very difficult time and would like your guidance and direction on what they can do to work to release this trauma and heal. All right, we'll dive right in now, Pisces. So Spirit, what messages do you have for energetic healing for the Pisces who may be experiencing difficult energy or trauma in their life? What information and guidance do you have for these Pisces, please, Spirit? I'm going to actually scoot you guys a little bit more. Oh, my shoes are on the floor. Hold on. Okay. Hopefully we can... That way it feels like you're right sitting right next to me. I like it. It's like I have company. Like you're right there, right here, and I'm reading the cards for you. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? The Pisces who need energetic healing or could you heal from trauma or difficult situations, please? What information do you have for them? What do you want them to know? Okay, so currently... Pisces, for those Pisces who are having um, energy that needs to be healed or dealing with some type of trauma, how is this energy impacting your life? So it seems as though it may um, have thrown you off balance and it may in fact, um, for some of you, this is a karmic energy that it's impacting you because until you learn this lesson, you're going to remain stuck in this karmic cycle. And for others of you, it's for you to learn how to, how to make better decision making. And for others of you, um, it's, impacting, it's impacting your life because it's forcing you to take control of your life and to do what is the right and good and walk in the path of integrity for some of you, not that all of you aren't, you know, good upstanding people, but for some, right? What are, what emotions might you be carrying with you due to this energy or trauma? Wow, Pisces, this is like death. Like you are like dying inside from this, some of you, right? Um, so this is definitely an energy of um, feeling like everything is over, like it's done, like your life is over, like you've lost everything. Like the world as you know it, situations, birth, finances, career, anything, whatever is associated with this energy, um, this traumatic energy or trauma or thing you need to heal, it, the emotions you are carrying with you are very detrimental to you. Um, they're causing you significant blocks in your life and, you know, stopping you from having a rebirth. How is this energy or trauma affecting your relationships with others. So it may in fact be causing you to have immature energy. Um, you may not be able to have learned the lesson in order to move forward. So for some of you, you might keep repeating the cycle um, and you're not being able to break free into your birth and you're trapped in this downward spiral or this this like death cycle, right? Like a black hole is what I'm getting. So it's impacting your relationships with others. Hold on, I have a thing. Okay, uh, it's it's impacting your relationships for uh, 
from others because it seems as though if people want to come and offer you things or there's new opportunities, you might doubt it or you might not trust it or you have perhaps such a fatalistic view over things that you might be ignoring them altogether. But here the Page of Pentacles is showing that you're not having the growth and the development and you're not learning and oftentimes as souls some the biggest some of the biggest lessons we learn in our soul's journey are learned through relationships with other people and it seems as though basically this emotion this um damaged energy or this trauma or whatever you identify this as is impacting your is having impacts on your relationships because you're not being able to accept offers and go forward and um, really have those those healthy, stable, grounded relationships. So how is this affecting you, Pisces? How How is having this um, energetic terror, energetic um, darkness or trauma, how is this impacting you? King of Wands. So we see here somebody who is definitely focused, but in this King of Wands in particular, he's looking away. He's not looking at us. He's looking away, right? And in his right hand is a stick. It seems as though you might not want to be looking at the exact issue. Um, for some of you, it's because you're not able to. You have to look away. It's like when you see something that repulses you, you have to look away. And it's kind of like looking at this energy and looking at the truth of the trauma. You know, you're, you're kind of allowing yourself to be blind to it, even though it's keeping you in this death spiral, right? So let's see now, um, and we'll get clarification for these as well. So let's see now we're, um, what is an energy that Pisces you can draw on? What energy can you draw on that is going to help you release this trauma? Six of, remember who you are, six of wands, you know, understand the beauty you have, put yourself up on a pedestal, rise up, you know, understanding what you bring to the table, understanding that you too can overcome this. This too shall pass, right? Understanding that it is your divine capability to overcome this hardship and trauma and to, and to master it. And what is a lesson that this difficulty, um, traumatic energy or trauma can teach you? What can you learn from this experience? So here we have the five of swords. And what comes to me is be careful that you're not fighting battles that nobody's going to win. If you stay stuck in this death energy, you're never going to move forward. You're never going to win the war. You're just going to stay stuck on the battlefield. And you're, you're going to be these guys in the background, always walking away, always losing the war, right? So, you know, learning what battles to fight and which ones to let go of. So here, I'm really getting the lesson you can learn from this energy and trauma is to learn when it has served its purpose, um, when, when you've gotten to the point where it's over, it's done, like it's behind you, and now learning to move forward into this victory. And how can Pisces begin to move past this experience? Five of Cups. So Pisces, understanding that when it comes to looking at this disappointment or this um, negative energy or trauma that's impacting your life um, and how you can move past it, be mindful of the amount of time you're giving to it. As I was just saying, you know, once you have learned the lesson, once you understand the situation, you can move past it. But here it seems as though um, you might be being stuck in this energy instead of choosing to turn around towards your two of cups and crossing the bridge to a new land, right? So how you can move, begin to move past this um, negative energy or trauma is to turn around and see what's right behind you. See the possibilities. Allow yourself to move out of this death energy. And... What is a way that your life will change as a result of lease, releasing this trauma or negative energy? Wow, Pisces, this is beautiful, the star card. So when you learn to let go of this pain and suffering and trauma, and when you learn to, to basically turn your back to this trauma, to these spilled cups, when you learn to stop focusing 
on these spilled cups and turn around and see how many blessings you have in your life and see the new path that's right behind you, you're going to walk into wish fulfillment. You're going to, the stars will align for you. You're going to have renewal and rebirth and your life is going to have a new beautiful beginning. And what can you do for self-love right now, Pisces? Judgment. Wow, this is harsh. Wake up, Pisces. Wake up. Your destiny is calling you, Pisces. Your path is calling you. You're not meant to stay stuck in this energy. You're, this energy is karma. This energy is not for you to get stuck in, but for you to be victorious over. So in order for you to practice self-love, you know, that is forgiving yourself and forgiving others. And always remember, you don't forgive others for them. You forgive others for yourself. And awakening to the truth of what is actually going on that, you know, perhaps the pain has in fact lived its cycle. And, and even though sometimes you cannot accept the concept of what has happened. Like if somebody did you wrong or something very traumatic happened, mentally, sometimes it can be impossible to accept the thing that happened. But what you can do instead is accept that you cannot accept that thing. And that will be one step closer to moving forward into forgiveness, into awakening, into, into your um, wish fulfillment and healing. So now but let's get clarification on this. Spirit, how is this energy and trauma impacting Pisces life? We have justice. So what is this justice card for how this energy is impacting Pisces life? How is this energy impacting Pisces life, please? What is this justice card? What is this justice card for how this... Wow. Okay. So it seems as though it's keeping you away from new beginnings in love and new beginnings. Um, like when Pisces, as soon as you start to move forward into happiness and celebration... This trauma is rearing its ugly head and getting it in the way of you realizing um, increased finances, increased security, and new romantic offers. Again, take it as it resonates for you. However, this trauma is really interrupting your life. You know, we see it here, but basically this trauma, this karmic trauma or whatever this trauma is, is keeping you off balance. And whenever you try to move forward into your happiness, there's disruption and chaos because this energy, this negative energy and this trauma is being triggered each time you try to move forward, um, especially in areas that are related to the origin of the trauma. For example, if you're having energetic trauma regarding a love situation, whenever you try to move forward into a love situation, it trigger the tra trauma triggers its ugly head. If you're trying to move forward and out of a family situation or a negative family dynamic, and every time you try to move forward, something's triggered and there's arguments and disputes, and it's blocking you from this beautiful new beginning, these new offers coming into you, this increased abundance and this increased prosperity. So when whenever you're trying to move forward and break out of the cycle, Pisces, it, it starts to get very difficult for you very rapidly because your, your emotions and your psyche and everything is triggered and it seems as though chaos presents instead of your new beginning. And what is this death card for Pisces for the emotions they're carrying regarding this energetic trauma? What is this death card, please? What is this death card for the emotions Pisces is carrying regarding this energetic trauma? Wow. So what's happening, Pisces, is you're keeping yourself by hanging on to this emotional trauma and this um, energy, um, negative energy, whatever. You're keeping yourself stuck in this downward cycle. And before I kept saying it's a downward spiral. It's a death spin. It's a, it's a death spiral. And that's exactly what you're doing with your emotions. Every time you try to move forward, you're being triggered and it's rearing its ugly head and it's keeping you caught in this in this perpetual karmic cycle or perpetual cycle of trauma where each time you try to move forward your wounds are basically ripped back open and what is this 
page of cups for how this is impacting Pisces relationships with others. What is this page of cups for how this is impacting Pisces relationships with others? Hold on. Spirit wants to speak again. So, yeah, it's making it so you can't, you're not able to start new beginnings, Pisces, because each time you try to go forward or each time somebody come, an opportunity comes in or a new relationship starts to form, there's something that delays this new beginning. And what's delaying your new beginnings, as we've seen throughout here, is the same cycle keeps repeating. The same cycle of being emotionally triggered, emotionally stuck in this negative cycle because of the trauma that subconscious or even realized, conscious or subconscious, that keeps getting triggered and it's keeping you, it's stopping you from moving forward to new beginnings in relationships. And Spirit, what is this King of Wands for how this is impacting or affecting Pisces relationships with themselves or how they see themselves? How is this impacting how Pisces see the, sees themselves? What is this King of Wands, please? So how this is impacting how you see yourself, Pisces, is we have the, the King. Okay, so Pisces, you have, you may have become very cold and very blunt. Um, you could be very binary, because when something triggers you, you might go cold is what I mean. Like you might be warm, then you're triggered, then you go ice cold, like ice queen. This is ice queen right here. So what I'm seeing is the king of wands is very charismatic, very like goes after what they want. But as soon as you're triggered internally, you freeze up. And this is how this is impacting um, your internal relationship with yourself and how you see yourself. Because some days... You see yourself as this beautiful, wonderful go-getter. And on other days, you're like, F the world, I want off, right? And you're having this duality within yourself. And it's really ca causing a lot of cognitive dissonance within yourself. And what that means is how you believe one, one you have one idea, but then a different idea comes and challenges your your the belief you already hold to be true. So it's causing you a lot of mental discord and a lot of confusion and it's really um, internally causing a lot of difficulty for you because you want to go forward into the world being your true un uninjured, un-trauma experienced self. Um, but you keep coming into the ice queen mode or B mode, right? Because when you when this energy or this trauma is triggered, you come right out of this go-getter, the world is my oyster, I'm a go-getter, I have passion, I have love you know, everything, and you revert right back into this ice queen mode. Again, independent of if you're male or female. And what is the six of wands for an energy that you can draw on to help release this trauma? What is the six of wands on, of an energy to help release this trauma? What is the six of wands for how Pisces can release this trauma? Go forward in joy, focusing on your joy, remembering who you are. Put your own self up on a pedestal. Get up on your horse and ride the F away from trauma. You know, you have this wand. You are the victor over your own life. Take authority over your own life. Make the decisions to um, live in La Vida Loco or whatever. You know, live the crazy life. Be fil fulfilled with joy. You know, just... You have the world in your hands, Pisces, and the world before you at your feet. You know, you are meant to go forth and be in experience communion with others. You're meant to be involved with other things. You're meant to, you know, Pisces, you're supposed to light up a room when you walk in it. But look what's happening now. You know, all you can do is sit there staring at the ground and the cups that are spilled over. But how to move forward from this energy and to help start to free yourself up is keep your chin up. Remember who the hell you are, right? Remember what you are capable of and the joy you bring not only to others' lives, but the joy you bring to your own self because you are divinely unique. You are divinely beautiful. You are divine. What is it when they say... I am wonderfully and powerfully made. You are wonderfully and powerfully made. And I might not be quoting that white, but you get what I'm saying, right? Remember who you are. Take the world in your hands and go forth and be merry Pisces. You know, find your joy. When you find your joy and, and not only find your joy, but truly experience that joy again, it's going to start to lift you out of that. 
uh, that cesspool of trauma. And what is that five, the five of swords for the lesson you can learn from this experience? And so we have the five of swords as, you know, learning which battles are worth your energy and which battles, you know, choosing your battles more wisely and clarifying that we have the three of swords and the magician. So mastering your ability to overcome any heartache and losses, because in the five of swords, the five of swords speaks about losses. And when you take a knock, right? Because this is about the lesson you can learn from this experience. Learning how to get back up. Learning how to heal the trauma. Learning that the trauma does not have to rule you. But you, in fact, are the master of your... your. Sorry, the power just went off. That's kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, now, now all my LED lights are blinking. Okay, well, so... Clearly, spirit... I have chill bumps now. So, clearly, spirit... When I say you are the master of your life and you are the, wow, man, this is crazy. But when you are the master of your life and you are the master of yourself and dictating if you're going to stay in that trauma or if you're going to release it, if you're going to continue to pour your energy into these battles that nobody's going to win, where you're always walking away crying, like, look at this, Pisces. This is you, right? In the background right here. This is where you're at right now. So you have the choice, and this is the lesson that is in front of you to learn right now, is if you're going to hang on to that trauma, or if you're going to release it to the universe for transmutation, and use your energy instead of on fruitless battles, and instead of on focusing on, you know, heartache and loss, but in order, in other words, to move towards your star and your judgment card. This is a new life calling for you, Pisces. Pass on the other side of trauma. Your new life is waiting for you. Okay, so what is this Five of Cups for how you can begin to move past this experience? What is this Five of Cups spirit for how Pisces can begin to move past this experience? Thank you. And we have the world card. Understand, Pisces, the cycle is over. We already, we have, look, how many times do you want to keep repeating death? I mean, I don't personally think that, you know, death would be a fun experience, right? And 22, 22 on the clock. And what just came to me is, you're only supposed to die once, Pisces. Why do you keep making yourself die over and over and over? You've died once to the situation. You've ex the first time you experience this trauma and experience this energy, um, um, this energy, energetic pain, you died. Like spirit, like inside, a part of you died. Now, why do you keep going and saying? Well, it's not enough that I died once. I must continue to suffer. I must continue to repeat this cycle because whatever reason, right? And and spirit is here telling you today, Pisces, the cycle is over. It's done and it's over. And there's there's no amount of focusing on it. He's focusing on this. There's no amount of looking at the ground, of being in your feelings about it. There's no amount of anything you can do there's nothing you can do about it except to realize that the cycle is over and to turn around to your the blessings that are still present in your life and to cross this bridge over to the new land where you have wish fulfillment and a new path is, and a new calling is waiting for you you're not meant to stay stuck in this energy pisces what is a star card for oh how your life may change as a result of letting go of this trauma. What is the star card for how your life may change as a result of letting go of this trauma? How will Pisces life change? And we have the six of wands coming out again, Pisces. Hold on. You're, you're definitely, when you release this trauma and let go, you're going to move into wish fulfillment. You're going to move into restoration and and healing and renewal of your entire life, Pisces. And you're moving to victory. And you're doing that because you're going to move into a group, more grounded space where you're going to be able to make passionate plans to move you forward in, in a very balanced way. Um, I'm getting joy off this card too because he's like juggling. Sometimes juggling is referred to as fun, right? But you're going to move out, oh, thank you, Spirit. You're going to move out of, you know, this energy of, 
um, the seven of swords, which, which is trickery or not, tr thank you. It's not trusting of not trusting and thinking, you know, you can't take anything for granted and feeling so uncertain and insecure. You're going to move out of insecurity and mis distrust and mistrust and move towards, so these are almost like this, is how the Spirit is saying. And you're going to decide to move forward into concrete um, concrete efforts to move you forward into this victory success, which is going to, in fact, be your wish fulfillment. So it's moving out and releasing this trauma, Pisces, so you can move towards your wish fulfillment and what you truly want in life. Because you don't want to be stuck in this trauma. It's not doing you any good. It's not doing anybody any good. And what is this judgment card for... How you, what you can do for self-love. What is this judgment card for what Pisces can do for self-love? And we have the moon card and the six of pentacles. So Pisces, for self-love, we, we discussed already about how this is, you know, coming to terms with the truth and, and awakening to what path you should really be on instead of being in a circle, a circle path of, repeating the same death cycle over and over. You know, you're supposed to move forward, Pisces, and you're supposed to raise up in status and understanding that instead of giving your energy to fruitless battles, you're going to give your energy in a way of generosity where you're getting um, return on your investment, where it's very grounded and stable and it benefits everybody. In the Five of Swords energy, nobody is truly winning here. It doesn't matter. And I just saw 26, 26. Nobody is ever going to win this Five of Swords battle. But here, Pisces, you're, you're being called to go on this new path that's true to yourself. Here we have the card of Pisces, which is the moon. You're being called to your true path. You're, this trauma and energetic difficulty you're going through is not supposed to be the focus of your life. It's supposed to teach you the lesson of how to let go and how to move forward and how to realize, you know, the beauty you hold within yourself and to go forward into this place of generosity. So Spirit, what, uh, what other messages? Okay, hold on. I had to, pardon me while I get this deck. This, this is like a block deck. So Spirit, do you have any messages for Pisces about what might be blocking them? Any other message re regarding what might be blocking Pisces for this energetic healing message? Any, any messages from this deck about what might be blocking Pisces right now? Any messages from this deck regarding what might be blocking Pisces right now, please, Spirit? Okay, well, that's fun. We get parasite Pisces. So wherever there might be some type of parasitic energy in your life, be mindful of that. Whether, and understand in this scenario, you could be your own parasite, right? You could be doing harm to yourself. Hopefully that's not the case. But also look at other things in your life that could be parasitic energies, whether it's relationships, families, or your own mental thoughts. You know, so be mindful of whatever might be parasitic to you right now or has been within that tr this trauma. Because that might be something you want to work on addressing right away. Any other messages for Pisces for this reading, please? Any other messages for Pisces for this reading? Any other messages for... So we get solitude. So, you know, that's definitely the need to um, have that introspection to understand the situation fully so you can move forward, right? And that can also be taking time to really evaluate what you're allowing in your life and how your decisions are impacting the re repetition of this death cycle. And then positive movement forward. So Pisces, you know, Spirit is sitting here telling you, Pisces, you have every single opportunity to move forward. We have the Six of Wands here twice. And we have positive movement forward. Let's see, hold on. Did we have? No. So, but here Pisces, you know, Spirit is definitely saying, you have everything it takes to overcome this and be the master. Where's the magician? And, and to master this lesson in your life and to control who is going to deliver heartache to you in the future. You know, that's one of the things from this lesson is when you learn this lesson, you will be able to control what does damage to you and what you allow to hurt you going forward. Um, not in a bad way, not in an arrogant you know, F them, nobody's going to hurt me, but in, in a very healthy, 
um, soul lesson type of way. But ultimate Pisces, ultimately Pisces, you know, you are, you do have the ability to move forward from this and to heal the trauma and to move into a much brighter place. Because understand, Spirit is saying that your best life lies on the other side of letting go. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.